welcome to Mauritius. It is day one in paradise. We've got about three weeks exploring the island. Oh, what lovely weather. We've got some cracking weather today. We're traveling Mauritius on a budget, which means catching public buses around the island. Once we left the airport, we made our way to Blue Bay. It had a stunning stretch of beach and really friendly stray dogs, but it was seriously windy on this side of the island. So we decided to catch three buses to reach the west coast. The buses are lovely and rustic with colorful paintings on the side and the views out the window look like a scene from Jurassic Park. So it took four and a half hours for us to reach our destination, which was the village of La Galette. And this became our base for the next couple of weeks. It didn't have a nice beach here for swimming or sunbathing, so we would do day trips for that, but the sunsets were on another level. Every night we'd be treated to a colourful sky like this one. Our first day trip was to the south of the island where we could hike up the famous mountain of Lamont. It was quite a sketchy hike with lots of scrambling involved and slippery rocks, but the views from the top were incredible. We could see all the turquoise water where the reef was and then it just dropped into the deep ocean. We then made our way back down the mountain towards Lamont Beach, which soon became our favorite one on the island and we kept going back to. Tell them what we're doing today. Uh, today, guys, we are going swimming with sperm whales. Yeah. Yep, so today we hopped on a small boat and headed about five kilometers out to the open water. It didn't take us long to spot the sperm whales and they were absolutely massive. We've seen them before in Norway, but we've certainly never seen them underwater and we were so excited. Sperm whales are as long as a double-decker bus and their tail alone measures 16 feet tip to tip. Unlike some whales which eat plankton, Sperm whales search for giant squid as their main food source, and they will dive to depths of up to 1,500 meters in search of them and can spend up to 90 minutes underwater. After watching the sperm whales from the boat, it was finally our time to go in the water. And I was pretty nervous about being in such deep water. It's so creepy not knowing what's beneath you, but I soon forgot about that once we saw the whale straight ahead of us. I'm not a confident swimmer, so I was the only person that wore a life jacket for this. And trying to swim to the whale with everyone being quicker than me was a bit of a challenge. But it was a bloody cool experience and I still got a great view of the whale. He ended up staying on the surface for quite a while, so we just got to swim along with him for ages, and then eventually he dove down into the depths until we couldn't see him anymore. On our way back to the island, we spotted a mum and baby humpback, and we were able to swim with them, but it was only for a split second they were coming right towards us, and then they turned the other way. After that brief encounter with the humpbacks, we continued on our journey and ended up spotting some spinner dolphins, so the captain pulled over for us to go for a swim with them. They were so chilled and didn't seem to mind us being there. They were just swimming in the shallows and playing, so it was a lovely experience. We really enjoyed the trip, so a couple days later we decided to go again. And this time we just got a brief glimpse of some humpbacks and we also swam with some bottled nose dolphins, but it was all very quick and maybe not worth the extra trip, but that's the thing with wildlife, you never know what they're gonna do.
We had big plans of traveling all the way around Mauritius, so our first stop on the west coast was Flick and Flack. It was a nice beach town, but from there we did a day trip to see this really cool Hindu temple. And the cool thing about Mauritius is there's this lovely mix of cultures and religion, so it kind of feels like a Caribbean version of India with a French twist. But we had to scrap our ambitious travel plans as we both came down with COVID, so we decided to just wait it out in this beach town before heading back to La Galette, which ended up being our favorite place as we could do day trips to Le Mans. We stayed in a few different self-contained apartments in the area and one of them had this tree outside filled with these yellow birds. And we were able to watch them making these incredible little baskets which they lived in. So our final week was spent catching the local bus down to Le Mans Beach and spending our days here in paradise. Where's Kragos? Woohoo! We've had the best time on this tropical island, from swimming with whales and dolphins to eating street food on beaches. It's also been our 15 year anniversary, so a perfect way to celebrate it. But now it's time for us to go to South Africa.